some nice uh, manganese purple jar lids right here. And then uh, we got some more bottles beside them as well. Uh, we have uh, just a few out. And uh, by a few, I mean uh, a few thousand. <laughs> um, oops. Just for some context before this video begins, in case you're not a bottle digger or bottle collector, uh, the reason why we're putting these uh, bottles out is because they are made with manganese glass. So what that means is that uh, the glass will turn purple over time. And how it turns purple is that the UV rays from the sun will interact with the manganese in the glass and turn the once clear glass purple. So that's why we're putting these out in the sun to make all these bottles turn a nice purple color just for some context, just so we don't have a bunch of people asking why we're leaving a bunch of bottles outside. Hey everyone, so a bit of a different Boldy Monday for you today. <laughs> uh, we are gonna be putting out all of my purple bottles and ones that need to be turned purple uh, out on the mountain today. They're gonna be up there for probably a year or two to turn nice and crispy. This is gonna be interesting. We got a whole car that we're about to unload and- yeah, there's, uh, a few, we'll say, there's at least five boxes. <sighs> okay, we're gonna get to unloading. We're sure the time lapse of that and then we're gonna get to showing you all the stuff on the mountain that we're putting out. So stay tuned for an interesting purple boy bar moldy Monday. Oops. Cool. <laughs> Everything is now out of the car. Uh, we got quite a bit. We got a ton of pop crates too, but every single bottle, almost, almost every single bottle in here is purple. They call me Purple Boy Jim. Yeah, they call him the Purple Boy Jim. Like, look at all these, this is insane. Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a bad joke, but look, there's more. <laughs> these are all purple bottles too. And this is, what do we got? We got, like three to two boxes deep. There's, like 20 something. There's 20 something boxes here. Like 47 boxes. And 20 more there. Jay thinks there's 47 boxes filled to the brim of purple bottles. So welcome to the purple boy, barn man, haircut boy, Monday. <laughs> I don't know. We call this the COVID yeah, the COVID cut, he cut his own hair. Why isn't this focusing? Here's his one Jay sauced me. It is a D. Leon. Uh, Florida water. These are all purple. Very nice. Yeah, he cut his own hair everyone and it uh, isn't the best Let's just say that so oops. Um, yeah, every single one of these boxes is full to the brim With purple bottles and we are going to be bringing them up this slippery rock <laughs> oops and um, putting them on the rocks for the summertime To turn purple. So there's probably a thousand or more purple bottles here There's yeah there's a lot, Jay says. So, um, welcome to this interesting moldy Monday of purple bottles kind of thing. So hopefully you guys enjoy. And um, we'll get a time lapse going of us carrying these up. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's start this adventure of shenanigans. Here comes the moldy guy with the last moldy box. It's a Coca-Cola box full of not Coca-Cola bottles. So that is the first group of boxes done. That was like 30 seconds of time lapse and about what, 20 minutes for us. Um, so I'll just give a quick look of all the bottles. Purples, 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 purples. I think you get the point. <laughs> More purples. Not a purple, I don't think that was. There's a Cali, California fig syrup in there that's not purple, but hey. Um, there's even more. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Oh yeah, if anyone's wondering like, oh, you guys are putting these out on a rock, don't you worry, they're gonna get stolen. Uh, they're at Jay's parents' house and they have cameras everywhere, so if someone tries to steal these, well, good smile, good luck. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's even more. There we go. Uh, this is only half of them. We got another half <laughs> to go, sir. Oh boy. We have now got every single box up on the hill. And Jay is counting how many there is because my goodness, these things are just filled to the brim. 48. 48 boxes, he says. Oh my 
God, all right. Well, we're gonna do another time lapse here of this kid putting them out. I'm not helping him put them out. I told him I'd help bring him up to the top of the mountain here. I kind of, what do you mean? There's a time lapse proving it, sir. <laughs> so we're gonna put these guys out and uh, kind of, if there's embossed ones, we'll show you as we go, some of the cooler ones. And um, yeah, enjoy the time lapse slash bottle show. I don't know what this is. It's an interesting moldy Monday. Hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. We got time lapse GoPro set up of Jay putting out bottles. So as he throws some, now I'm kidding. So uh, enjoy that for two seconds. <laughs> Tad bit of an update for you. We got only one, two, three, four, five, like six or seven crates done. And that's the damage so far. Uh, my GoPro is pretty much already dead. It sucks at doing time lapses apparently and I don't have any other batteries for it. Yeah, Jay didn't really go through these very well and we have, yeah, the crates, sorry. He says the crates he didn't go through very well, which are the pop crates and whatnot. So we have a pile of not purple bottles. We found this one. He didn't even know he had this. He was like, where did this come from? This thing is just beautiful. It is a beautiful, perfect seal. Like, check that out. We, got, we even got an aqua one. Okay, I'll grab that in a second, Jay. God, the highway is busy today. So, yeah, there's a lovely, perfect seal. Wide mouth, adjustable, made in Canada. Very beautiful. I wanted to show that one for you guys. Um, yeah, there's just a boatload. Absolute boatload of med purples more like this is just a field of glass at this point but th again this is only six friggin crates we still have all that uh this is gonna take forever and then uh, over here we also had other sl things that aren't uh purple we got whatever this guy is a wide mouth adjustable another one right there um we got a cedar polish polish for furniture and automotive uh, manufactured by uh channel uh, limited Toronto. I don't know if you guys seen that very well. There we go. Kind of cool. And then uh, same thing on that side. Uh, we also got Dr. or sorry, Lydia Pinkman's. Right there, Lydia Pinkman. It's kind of hard to see with the light, eh? Thought I'd show that one. It's a cork top as well. All right. Well, I'll try to get some more time lapses going, but my battery's almost dead on my GoPro. Oh my goodness, Jay, what have you gotten yourself into, man? He's having he's having a ball right now. This is just ridiculous. Since these crates are all empty, if you guys didn't watch the first uh, video where we picked up these bottles, uh, these are all the pop crates that we had. Jay filled them with all the purple ones. Two Pepsi-Cola, two Coca-Cola. We got uh, McDonald's beverages from South Porcupine Uliskard, Pepsi-Cola, and another uh, McDonald's beverage from North Bay. Uh, none of these are for sale, if anyone's asking. None of these guys are for sale. But I just thought I'd show them again if uh, you're just tuning in and you haven't watched any of the other episodes. There they are. Very cool. Well, we're uh, kind of getting there. We got, uh, oh, there's Jay for scale of all the bottles <laughs> that we put out so far. Uh, if you stand on this angle, oh man, look at that. That is, it's a sea of bottles. A sea of manganese glass, oh my goodness. And yeah, Jay, go stand like kind of right in a little open area just so we can get a, no, like right, yeah, right, right, right where you are. Yeah, stand, there you go, that's, that's Jay. That's all the bottles. Oh yeah, and uh, they're still, this is, that's only half, that's only half that we have out, that's the rest that we have. Uh, but I want to show these over here, they're kind of standout bottles that I kind of propped up. Um, so, uh, we'll start We'll start on this side. Okay, so starting on this side with all the bottles in the background. These are all manganese glass, got a beautiful manganese, uh, McDonald's and Co. Cobalt. We got a Horlux malted milk, uh, Racine, Wisconsin. We have a beautiful strap-sided flask kind of thing right there. That is so nice. Beautiful purple color. And it has just an amazing, if I can get that to focus, has an amazing tooled lip on it. Just a beautiful tooled lip. 
Uh, moving down the line, we got a uh, crown jar that's going to be uh, purple as well. That one's nice, nice early one. Has some awesome bubbles in it. Look at the bubbles in the glass. Very nice. Uh, we have this one here. This is just a cool, cool colored one. And it also has a very nice um, applied lip as well. Hope it's focusing. Kind of hard to tell on my view screen. Very nice applied lip. Uh, this guy here is a, uh, what was it again? A Wyeth and Bros Philida. Um, I hope it is focused. Uh, kind of hard to tell. There we go. Wyeth and Bros Philida. Uh, and this guy here is a, what was this again? Uh, Hugo's Dander Off Blurry. Uh, let's make sure it's focused. There we go. Hugo's Dander Off uh, Hair Tonic. Uh, dander off remedy or dandruff remedy sorry dandruff remedy very nice and that is again a beautiful tooled lip so those are some of them i want to show there's also one uh over here i just want to show really quick this is the strangest thing okay so if i hold it like this let's see make sure it's focused for everyone because uh yeah, i don't want to show blurry blurry bottles um it is half purple and half green <laughs> it's so strange half purple half green bottle um i've never seen that like this side's literally green and then this side is purple i don't understand that is a very odd bottle very nice bottle though so yeah we're gonna keep putting them out and um i'll give you another update in a bit Got some more standout bottles here. We got uh, Rob T of Arlstone and Company, Hamilton, Ontario. Very nice, that's machine made. We got a second quality Vaseline, Chess Bro, Cheese Bro, Vaseline. Now apparently second quality was for animals, apparently. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we got a Milano. I don't know what that is, but that is a heavy bottle. Very cool, Milano, Milano. Uh, we got two Underwood inks. We got a uh, one on the uh, right is a smaller one. One on the left is a larger one. Uh, we got a Richard Hundut uh, Chemist New York. No idea what that would have been. Uh, this one's kind of neat. It's one of the, I don't know if it's an earlier one. It's a three ounce Salone's liniment uh, kills pain. Uh, it's the first time I've seen one like that before. Uh, normally they just, they just say Salone's liniment made in Canada or Salone's liniment. Uh, this guy here, oh, one bo another box down, Jay says. We got a, uh, a Hearst's Pain Exterminator. That one's very nice. These are all purple as well, except for this one here. This one's not. It's a non-such uh, international stove dressing, non-such manufacturing co Toronto. Very cool. Very neat bottle. Uh, this guy here is a Sheriff's Hair Colorant, best in the world. Very neat one. And then the large one here is a Budweiser. Uh, I don't know, Jay, is that Budweiser purple? It doesn't look purple. It might be purple, who knows. So, there we go. Um, Jay is now grabbing from those boxes. Halfway there, halfway there. few more standout bottles. I uh, kind of got them piled here. Some of these are purple, some of them are not. Uh, this is a Dr. Ditchens, I think, Relief for Rheumatism. Very cool bottle. That one's not purple, I don't think. Jay just kind of had grabbed it. We got a little cream bottle. Uh, what, what are these ones? Price and Sons? Price and Sons Milk. This one is purple, or a creamer. That's from Toronto, I think. From Toronto. Uh, we got a, another Rab, this is a really popping embossing, like look at the embossing on that, that Rob T. Ralston. Very nice. Uh, there's this one here, and we showed this one in a Moldy Monday episode before. Uh, Merle's Marvelous Medicine, and someone pointed out that uh, Marvelous is spelt wrong with two L's. That's, uh, kind of cool. Different. And this one here also, if you can kind of see, I don't know if the camera can pick up. Uh, the left side is purple and the right side is aqua. Um, so someone really messed up big time on this one. Um, so someone wasn't doing their job properly. Uh, we showed that one in a Moldy Monday, I believe. I still have no clue what that says. That is just some intense handwriting. Toronto, Canada. Um, 
Boston and Whitmore. This one here is a purple. Uh, if it's focused, yeah, Whitmore. Yeah, Boston. This is just says Whitmore. Oh, Boston, Whitmore, Boston. Oh uh, yeah, it is very hot. It's like what plus 15 today or plus 20 today, at degrees Celsius. And uh, this guy here, um, that's our new uh, new word. We're making fun of someone. Jay, you're a winkler. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a different one, Winkler. Uh, I think that's pretty much all the cooler ones. Oh yeah, what does Jay also have? What is this, sir? What are you handing me? Uh, I can't even see what that says. I see, what do I see? Roll, or Holloways, uh, something cure. Corn cure, is that what that says? Holloways corn cure? I can't see that in Boston because it's so light. I just see corn cure. Always corn cure. <laughs> it is corn cure. What the heck? Well, if your corn needs curing, Holloway's got you covered. <laughs> uh, and then we just have a, uh, oh yeah, for Robin too. The jokes for Robin. Watching Moldy Monday. This bottle is for Robin. <laughs> uh, good times for Robin. God, the highway is crazy busy. And this guy here is a Singer sewing machine oil. That's a crispy box right here. Oh, we got a crow. Oh, that is a crispy box. Look at the one Jay's pulling out right now. Oh, that is crispy. Look at all those crispy purples in there. Oh, okay. Um, it's getting there. It's getting there. Quick new angle of the sea of glass. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is insane. We should, Jay, we should count these and be like, hey, if anyone can guess the exact number, they win a purple bottle. <laughs> He's, Jay's actually gonna count them all. Well, if you can count them all in time, well, we'll maybe like leave a guess on how many you think are here. This is, again, there, this is only like probably three quarters of them, but we'll get a big roundup after of all these, because oh my goodness. Some of these are already like super crispy as well. But uh, hey, Jay wants some crispier. What a better way to do it than leave them outside. <laughs> Got a little pocket of cool ones over here. Um, and another box down. Another box down, Jay says. We got an Imperial uh, Extract Cove Toronto. Very neat. It's kind of hard to see. Man, the sun is terrible. I hope you guys can see that. Um, we got a few Frostillas. These are purple Frostillas, manganese Frostillas. We got a bunch of inks. In we got, oh my goodness. We got a ton of inks. Uh, this video is going to be up before our ink video, but be prepared for that. We got a literal video of just ink bottles. That's going to be up soon-ish. We got a Elmer's Canning Co. right here. And it's so weird filming without gloves on. I just, I, I feel naked. <laughs> uh, Elmer's Canning Co. Put your clothes Co. on, sir. I know, put my clothes on. Ah, what am I doing? Uh, this one's kind of nice. We found one of these on camera before. I don't know if that video is going to be out yet. It's a... Uh, Canadian Kodak Co, Toronto, Canada. I think one of the videos is out where we found one of these. Very nice bottle, manganese bottle as well. Somehow there's not even, that, we got Menards, it's not even purple. Uh, non Menards, uh, non purple Menards, sorry, yeah. Oh. Uh, look at all the purple inks too you got. Oh, uh, what do you say, oh. Uh, we, hey, that's spoiling, we found one of those digging, sir. <laughs> that video isn't out yet. Um, we got another uh, Merle's Marvelous Medicine. I think these are purposely spelt wrong to go with Merle's, double R, double L, maybe, or they just really didn't know how to spell Marvelous. Who knows? Uh, there we go. Jeez, it's slowly getting there. Slowly getting there, jeez, dude. Like, better hope there's no torrential downpour and all these just wash down the hill. He has like a barricade built up there. But I guess if there was like heavy enough torrential downpours where things flooded, I think these bottles would disappear. It'd be uh, the new video of scavenging for Jay's purple bottles and where did they go? Uh, all right, well, um, we got oh, a little bit still left. This is a long video. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is just ridiculous at this point. They're almost done. A few more uh, standout finds. Uh, this guy here, uh, I don't think this is from Moldy Mondays. This is just from what Jay has kind of gathered in a few years. Uh, Purdue or Purdue, uh, Frederick Company. Uh, New York. It's very nice, very crispy purple too as well. It has a little tiny bit of a flash or just a lip chip, but it is a nice like strap sided bottle uh, along with a beautiful tooled lip. Very, very nice. Beautiful embossing on that if it's focused. I hope it is. Very nice. Uh, next we got this one here. 
Uh, this has a tad bit of a lip chip as well, sadly. If it's focused. This is uh, from Pages Prescription. Uh, from Pages Prescription Pharmacy Toronto. Beautiful. Beautiful bottle. Uh, another one, we just got a, a nice one I want to show, a nice strap-sided flask right here. This one is quite nice. Beautiful strap-sided flask. Um, oh, no more <laughs> oh, no more bottles, Jay says. Uh, we got a JJ McLaughlin Toronto. Jay, what do they call these again? That's uh, a split soda. Split soda, okay, very cool. JJ McLaughlin. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, and then these guys here, I think we dug up two years ago at this point. Uh, Eagle Brand Chicago. I didn't even know these were purple. But they're manganese glass. If it's going to focus for me. Uh, there we go. Eagle Brand Chicago. I hope everyone's enjoying this video. It's a bit long. A bit on the long side. So, um, yeah, we're almost done. We're at uh, four more, five more boxes. Oh, boy. <laughs> After about, I don't know, four hours <laughs> or more, we have finally now the last that one's bottle. Crispy already. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, hey, I my phone oh yeah, let me just go grab that one bottle out there real quick. You better hope a deer doesn't come by and just decide to jump through all this. Oh, oh no, deer, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, KJ move. I'm gonna walk up here and uh, show a little bit more. Oh my goodness, let me get around here really quick. Oh boy. Oh my god. This looks 10 times worse on camera. Oh my god. A little pan up. Oh yeah, there's Jay for scale. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, well, uh, guess how many balls are here? We, we have no idea. Oh my. Well, um, I really hope everyone enjoyed this uh, purple Monday video. Uh, moldy purples, we'll call it. Jeez. Yeah, this is fun. Uh, I thought I'd film it. Uh, I hope you guys are watching to the end. If uh, you guys enjoyed this, please let me know or let us know, please. Oh my. You, sir, need no more purple bottles. <laughs> Boy, he says. Oh, man. I don't know if we'll do an, we might do an update video at the end of the year, we'll see. Um, yeah, this is ridiculous. But I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next Moldy Monday video. We got a bunch more to come, so do not worry. Um, my god. Okay, well we will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching the shenanigans, and I hope you enjoyed. Did you break a propeller? No. <laughs>